person talking about love, nine brother is the preacher. And it seems nobody's interested in learning but the teacher. Today at Savage Gym, we are about to do a lift rescue on Magic Mike's squat. Uh, we were training terrible. earlier, and his squat looks like complete garbage. So we're gonna it's pick up. worse than mine. It is actually. <laughs> it team is. no cows. <laughs> Adrian actually squats deeper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to pick a couple of things apart and see if there is something that we can fix with his squat. Stay tuned. Well, well yeah. Yeah. Stay it's, tuned. It's cool. start right now. We're just gonna keep going. Actually. I'm gonna up the ante. <laughs> the higher, the better. That's probably what your problem is, why you can't squat yeah. all the way down. I squat so much better without pants on. Don't talk him into taking his pants off, he'll do it. <laughs> what you're going to want to do is get rid of the pants. Step one, no pants. Step two, no shoes. Sure. Uh, but it's a thing of going from the level of lifter you are, like trying to refine you into a more uh, efficient lifter yeah. than just being able to squat. So there are certain parts of, guess what, yeah, you've got a weight on your back and you're going down and you're coming up with it, yeah. but the movement patterns and the firing patterns you're doing are not efficient. They're not as efficient as they could be to get the maximum amount of gains and lift the maximum amount of weights. So I mean, that's where that yeah. tightening your core comes in, um, where you lose that core stability. So you got that pelvic tilt as soon as you start the movement. And then when you're going down, you're squatting down so far that you don't have the hip mobility mm -hmm. for it. So you're getting that butt weight because you're starting to go too far down. Yeah. Well, it's causing just, the knees right. to cave in. Exactly. And then causing you to roll forward with the upper back. So that's why it's a thing of there's a lot of things we could pick apart. And it's, so it's the, try to, I think a lot of it just is going to stem from that mm -hmm. core stability though. Of starting at the top, just getting that good, you know, bracing that core really breathing hard into the belly here, getting the, your belly as tight as you can, and then squatting from there. Not breathe, filling up your chest, but filling in your stomach. So generally like what I do. For so for me personally. <laughs> is when I, when I sit up on my squat, once I get it walked out, I push all of my air out. So I get this as tight as I can, then without letting it relax, I breathe in as hard as I can into that, so now everything's stable, and then I'm gonna squat from that position. Instead of just being like, okay, yeah. I'm ready to squat because you've got that pelvic tilt here yeah. and you've got that rounded back and it's just, oh gosh, I'm out of all kinds of positions. Yeah. And then that's just making the whole movement go bad. Do you so, concur? Do you keep I do concur. So squat one of the ways that I like to, to teach this is I like to go focus on kind of building your, your setup for your squat from the ground up um, to kind of the simplest way to say it. I want you to imagine that you're, you're grabbing into the floor with your feet kind of like you have monkey toes. Um, and just kind of really feeling that, that clenching sensation in through the foot. Disregard the mismatching socks. But instead of having this relaxed foot position, and what that's doing is causing the knees to just kind of tilt in, which is what's happening on you, you want to actually grab with the foot and rotate out with the knees. What that's going to do is it's going to help stabilize your hips so that way when you draw that breath in, you're not inhaling yourself into that extended lower back. So, real quick, Kind of start with that position, grabbing into the ground, twisting the knees out. Don't even worry about the bar yet, but just grab into the floor and then rotate the knees out with straight legs. You should feel your ass clench. Yeah. Okay, so that's that neutral hip position that we want to have, right? So from there, kind of like Jeff was saying, blow out all of your air from your stomach. Keep blowing out, keep blowing out. And you feel that gets you in that drop position. Yeah. Now inflate without letting your chest rise. Inflate flex this hard. And no matter where you're at and through your waist, right, you're tight. Tighten through here, tighten through here. That's that brace lock position that you want to keep the entire time you're squatting. Okay? okay? So the next step from that, once you've got all that pressure, is to initiate your squat by sitting back into your hips instead of just dropping straight down. So sit back, good, and drive up. Same thing again, but push the knees out as you sit back. There. Feel the difference in stability in through the hips? Yeah. 
So it's forcing you to squat more with your glutes and your hamstrings and less just with your quads dropping straight down. Um, so without changing anything with the upper body yet, um, hit a set of maybe like five just with those two set of cues and see how that feels. So grab it to the floor, twist out, get that breath in here, deflate, deflate. Good, and sit back. Drive up. Good. Reset that breath again before every breath. Set that breath. Come on. Let's go. One more. Flex your ass. Take your breath and lift your ass still flex. And sit back. Good. Go around. Not that force body now. You're keeping those knees out. It looks a lot more powerful. And your first like three reps mm -hmm. look really solid. Really good reps. And then you started getting lazy with yeah. the without right. keeping everything tight. And once you started not being tight, that's when it just started falling apart. Yeah. Away. So the, the, one of the things that, that people forget, especially with doing sets of more than like two, is you have to go through that setup every single time. So if you're doing a set of five, it's a set of five singles. And that means every rep, when you come out, you go through that same checklist where it's, am I tight here? Am I tight here? Is the rib cage drop? Am I braced? Are you pulling the bar down across your back to set the lats, which we'll get to in a second. But do you have 100% tension everywhere? then initiate the squat and you do that every single time instead of just okay first one I thought about it second one man third one shit I'm tired yeah. and the Fourth last one, two yeah yeah because yeah. all you're doing is on those last two reps where you're doing the most work you're ingraining that bad pattern again yeah so whether it's keeping the weight a little bit lighter so where you can focus on that on every rep or maybe just doing more sets of fewer reps mm -hmm. which is kind of the approach I like to do um, that'll give you the opportunity to really focus on those cues I can tell yeah so Let's go another set of like, we'll just do three, but this time let's add in pulling the bar down across your back to try and get the tightness really there. Bending that bar over the yeah. Set. Let's set all the way up. Lock legs, toes, twist. Pull this tight. Pull the bar down. Feel the difference here. Yeah. Now get that breath. Drive up. Set. Tight. Try not. Yeah, there we go. Tight. Breath. Come on. Up. Up. Right. It's using more of those muscles and you're actually engaging everything you need to be doing. So you get so you're getting more out of the lift, doing less reps. So you're gonna get much more improvement on the muscle tissue and getting stronger and bigger if that's what your goal is. Yeah by actually doing the list correctly, rather than just having the bar on your back and squat. Going up and down. It's, it's kind of like we were talking about when we were doing deads yeah. last weekend. You have to set up everything correctly. You can fling the weight around up until you can, right? So that's either at some point going to injure you or it's going to limit how much that you can lift, but you have to learn that setup every single time and practice it on, you know, 135, um, yeah. with the same amount of importance and attention as you would if it was 600 pounds. Yeah, definitely. Like, Coming from like just like a bodybuilding, I guess, mm -hmm. standpoint, or just doing the lifts to get big, and Completely you, reach, you reach a yeah, reach a peak of how strong you are, because mm -hmm. you, yes, and that's it. You've done all the lifts mm -hmm. mostly incorrectly or correct for bodybuilding, and coming to powerlifting is just like fuck. This is different. <laughs> yeah. you're, I, I know this uh, too because you squat, you know, drive the knees forward, yeah. emphasize on the emphasis on the quads. Really yeah. doesn't matter what's going on here because we're trying to yeah. isolate all that tension out of the quads. Because I squatted like that for a lot of years, um, for the same reason. I'm just trying to time under tension and then, you know change the angles or bring the heels up to hit, change which head of the quad yeah. you're hitting. But just this is a lot more about creating tension everywhere in your body instead of trying to not pay attention yeah, to everything. You're using every muscle. Thing. You get as strong as you can. Right. So I'm just trying to look for it. Yeah, trying to do it. <laughs> None of this makes sense. <laughs> Hey guys, we just got done uh, working on Magic Mike's squat, and uh, hopefully you took away a couple of good pointers. We're going to talk to him briefly about what kind of what kind of cues he's now going to follow and what's going to help him out.
Of course, we did another lift rescue that I cannot be a part of because I can't help. <laughs> I'm starting to see a theme here. At some point, we'll do curls and, and I'll, uh, I'll be able to put some pointers in. But hey, Mike, what would you think about uh, some of the stuff they're helping you out with? Well, you know, it was pretty good information. They uh, picked my squat apart pretty good. I obviously didn't go deep enough, but uh, they're Which talking is a about. Common problem yeah, thing. common problem. You know, I just don't hit that G spot very well. <laughs> uh, they were saying I had to work on my breathing, stabilize that core a little more. I, uh, my hips, uh, I don't know what my hips problem was. Uh, it's going too far back on my hips. I'll You're sit, shooting your ass out. Yeah, right? shooting my ass out. So, like I said, I got to squat more, squat back towards my hips more and not keep my ass out. But it was pretty information. It was uh, pretty tiring because my squat was terrible. But other than that, <laughs> was, you know, Magic Mike here. So. It's worth it. <laughs> stay tuned for the next one. Oh, stay tuned for the next one. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> <laughs>